The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Basil Chapman here on Thursday, the 13th of January, just about mid-month. We're looking at the Dow. Let me just get this right here. So the Dow futures up about 48 points. The Dow closed yesterday at uh, 36,290. Just make it real clear. The Dow needs to hold the 36,000 level all the way into probably Tuesday of next week. A break under that and starts to say, oops, you're going to test that up channel support zone and I'd say the 36,500 sh oh, no chart gosh what a start to the day here <laughs> we've got it right there there we go um, and we've got the yep yeah, that's it and we've got the weekly chart still holding really well monthly chart just a doji candle nothing to see there but what's really interesting is that we've seen a rotation even within sectors and this is going to be the early edition, of course, 8 o'clock, 8 or 7 right now. It'll be replayed at my 10 o'clock hour. Most importantly, what we're looking at here is that if the Dow is able to climb into the 36,680, 36,700 area, that MACD, the moving average convergence in the daily, will probably start to move higher. We've taken a little bit of insurance here, and what we're looking at is that the stochastics are very weak at 58%. On balance volume, this is really not very good. But that nine period moving average is turning down, but still above the 14. And you know that that's one of the things we use here in the Chapman methodology. One of the myriad tools we have, most importantly, what we're looking at in terms of January is how does the candle close and how does February, what's the reaction in February? Because what we're looking at here, you see this monthly chart? Let me just expand this. I think it's worth doing that at this particular point. It's a kind of a critical day. I suspect that this is kind of a, yeah, kind of session that we have today. Look, you've got this Jeff Wade inside track repellent zone. Look how many times since it started, how many times it's been hit and repelled the price. The price just has not been able to break to go to the green line, which is your breakout line. And to give you the number, that would, in January, that number is in the 37,800 or 900 area. And a breakdown going underneath the nine period moving average is 34,770. So you can see we've got uh, about, I'd say maybe seven, 700 points to 1,000 points. Um, up or down and that makes a big difference and in this kind of market we've seen that that's happened in days we've had moves like that but so far what we're looking at is and i'm using the dow as a proxy because i think the dow right now well i shouldn't say right now i should say the dow for 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 about two and a half to three years i have felt very strongly that maybe there's one too many financials within it but it has, it is the Dow 30, it has nothing to do with the Dow industrials. In fact, it is so far from an industrial, the XLI is probably a much better example. XLI, XLI. Yeah, the XLI is the uh, S&P Select Industrial Spider Fund. Overall, I would say that that's probably a better proxy one. Oh, never updated that. Monthly is at an E. And it's got the, still got the Chapman Wave stalk leg formation. Um, and that usually suggests that you bounce a tad above it for the neck of the body. There's the leg, there's the body, this is the neck. And then there's a sudden slide. And if that slide goes underneath the trough, which takes you to, it's at 106.26, takes you under 90, 98.70. Now you just call it 97. Um, that would be very negative. But in the meantime, back to the ranch, just look, there's a sideways rectangle formation you can see it in the weekly. So that's industrials in, at peak C, should be uh, all-time high. 
Oh, Pete's here an old time high. There should be a D. We'll see what happens here. Yeah. In the meantime, back at the ranch, let's go back and we're looking at the S and P because that's the S and P five hundred. A really great mix. Look at that Doji candle, and this could be a halfway mark if there's a close above forty seven fifty three. That's his oops. You can now go into the body of the candle that we saw the the day after the top of forty eight eighteen point sixty two on the fourth. The uh, fifth had a high of forty seven. 97. Uh, so if we start to trade in the 47, or oh, I'd say 63 area, that means you can go quite a bit higher. And then month weekly chart is saying, hey, we're making higher highs and higher lows. Monthly chart is still, I can't believe I'm saying this, it's still in leg B. Since the low of 2020, March at 21.91, we've had one little minor peak right there, peak A. I should remember by now what it is was September. Yeah, September was the high. Next month, a slightly lower high that made a peak. And now we've got, this is called a floating letter B. It hasn't made a peak B yet. All right, so now let's go through this carefully. Because the close below 46.92 with a uh-oh, possible dreaded H pattern here, and we could start to move, tumble all the way down again. Just got to be real careful. So the S&P is kind of on the cusp. Q, 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 one, two, three, there we go. Q, 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 whoops, what happened there? The Q, Q, Q is the NDX 100. Uh, this is a trading vehicle. And what's very important about this particular uh, let me just get this. I'm just trying to get the YouTube so I can get the questions. Tiger YouTube. There it is. Uh, not too many people around because it is so early in the morning. I didn't make a big deal about you know, doing the Today Show at 8 o'clock yesterday. So some people don't know. All right. We've got the head. It was the 408.71. We've got the left side shoulder. We've got the right side. Not a, no, Really not one of those head and shoulder patterns that I really like. Just lower lows and lower highs. Uh, a to B equals a C to do in the in the in the the Tiger Financial News Network's uh, lightning bolt pattern. So many people use it. A big G in the in the monthly in the weekly probably, and maybe it's a G G says C in the uh, monthly chart. All I can say is, it is in the middle of the range at 387. It's up 23 cents right now. Let's see, at 8.30 in about another 17 minutes, we'll have some kind of economic news. We'll see what the, uh, the move takes us to, whether it starts to move up or move down. What's really important now is that the Qs are, are, are probably the weakest of the indices. And even more important is they've snuck underneath the upside channel and the upside inside track propellant zone. In the weekly chart, on the 14, just below the, the, the nine period moving average, but the nine is still above the 14, unlike the daily, which is in a sell mode. So this is a really important time. The queues are still lagging. We try to buy a, 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 a NASDAQ stock. Uh, oh, and folks, for, for the subscribers, please uh, check, your, um, check your posts because my newsletter went out. And for some reason, I don't know what it was, I, I guess a bunch of things going on. I tried to, um, uh, I, I sent out something just to make sure that you don't rebuy um, something we've already bought that didn't work out. And that's a sad commentary on the stocks that were fantastic in 2021 and are now just being obliterated. They can't even get rallies together. So I'll be back in a moment because I want to get to the IWM. I'll do that right now. The IWM, the Russell 2000, acting very weak. But look at gold. All these hold quite nice. Now it's down four. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up 
today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Yep, uh, let's just get back to this. this is uh, Thursday, the 13th at 8 to 18 in the morning. The show will be re replayed at 10. A uh, special day today, so I'm taking the day off. I'm also looking at uh, the IWM trading at 215.91, down 8 cents. Look at this arch formation in the rectangle. We've just seen this re rectangle formations, how incredible they 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 conform to a pattern that I've been discussing for years, uh, and that is uh, there are two rectangle formations. There's the large rectangle, which we used when we got to that low, March the 23rd of 2020, and then I started to draw it as we went, we went along that day, and then we started adding long positions. And most importantly, what I said is that you can get the pattern that I said is like a lopsided cup. I said it's more like a gravy cup. And what happens, you come down sharply, and then it's this off-balance, off-kilter um, pattern that starts to go to higher highs and higher lows, and eventually it goes right back to the top of the left side uh, high that was made before that huge tumble waterfall cascade to the downside. And it looks like a, like a gravy cup for those of you who like potato and gravy. Haha, -ha, raise your hands. Um, now what's really important is um, when you've got a narrow sideways rectangle formation, I couldn't show you how many times in the futures you get these patterns where on a one minute chart you can go for an hour and a half just going sideways between a pretty narrow trading range. If it's at the top of the range, the chances are you're going to go one quick pop to the upside. The magnet of the line says you're going to come back to the bottom of the rectangle. And then you've got to be careful that you don't take out that bottom. Well, it looks like the IWM is getting closer and closer and closer to taking out the 207 key support. It's a 215.91 right now. When it does that, it'll look like this. Anybody recognize what this is? This is the dollar. Look at this huge bowl formation, meaning that looking out, the dollar could have a lot higher to go. But on a short-term basis, there's this long rectangle, this is a shorter term because it's a daily chart, that went sideways between the 9690 uh, area and that incredible double top of 9694 on the 24th of November, pulls back to 9552, bounces back to where? 
within three cents, 96, 91 on the 15th of December. And then what does it do? It takes it out. What does that mean? You can take the distance from the top of the bottom of the rectangle and you can measure that and that takes you down to around about the 9450 area. Where are we right now? We're at 9481. What does that do to the, to, to the, remember in Bach, uh, Jan Sebastian Bach, you've got the most incredible counterpoint. You've got melodies that go one way as, as another melody goes the exact opposite direction. It's contrapuntal. And what we do in the market, we look for the contrapuntal indices. Remember, I come from a musical background. I uh, was a professional musician for a long time. Um, and most importantly, I like to look at those relationships. That's why in the Chapman Wave methodology, I'm always fascinated. It took me years to realize that my A, B, C, D, E, F, G is exactly like the piano notation where um, you do not get an H. There is never an H. So it's the same thing in the Chapman Wave methodology. However, let's get back to this. And what we're looking at is the inflection point for the gold, although gold is down six points right now, six six dollars, is coming right up against, look, in a sense there's a rectangle formation here, but it's more like a cup. If you look at the weekly chart, I've drawn in this uh, in rectangle in a narrow range between 1848 ish and 1755, although it went above and below. This is your fulcrum, this is your narrow trading band that gives you the most price points hit in a weekly chart going back since June of last year. So we've gone above and below and below. It's like a propeller shaft up and down, up and down. It's like it's like, a, like, a, like something on a spit when you're on the barbecue. And now what we're looking at is at 1821, peak C1, C2 in the daily chart, this cap wave inside track repellent sign could very well become a propellant uh, zone if there is a move in gold into the 1836-1842 area. I've already said two closes in the 1820s out of three days or three consecutive days. You have two closes in the 1820s should be good enough to try to get you to the 1828 level, 1832. We'll see if that happens. But if you look at the weekly chart, even if gold spirals higher, there's a good chance it's going to come back and retest the middle part of the, of the range in the 1820s. So that says that gold has to rocket into the 1848-1858 area to say, I've broken out, I'm done, I'm going right to the candle of uh, the 22nd of November with a high of 1853 and a low of 1805. I want to tackle that. I've already gone halfway into it. Let's see if I can get rid of all that energy at the bottom and use this as the 200 period moving average of 1806 as a propellant to the upside. All right, just enough with all that. I wanted to show you silver is acting okay. It's not as good as gold. It has gone above its champ wave inside track. Repellent zone is now propellant zone at 23.12, down just eight cents. But that weekly chart says, wow, it needs a lot, a lot of work to move higher. So I'm just using the relationship of, of the dollar and I'm using the relationship of of gold, the inverse, because I always say that over a period of a year, maybe th three, four times you'll get for about three to four weeks, you get gold and dollar moving in the same trajectory, not in the same percentage gains or losses, but in the same direction. Most of the time they're trading in opposite direction. You can actually put them in, call, call it a mirror image. It's not exactly a mirror image, but it's close. Sorry, that's that. This is a high grade copper. High grade copper is uh, pulling back a penny. Uh, it's at 45, 4.56, very strong right here, but there it is basically in a second cup formation, all within a rectangle in the weekly chart, but certainly fabulous action so far, and some of those gold stocks have done very well. I wanted to do that EUR, USD, let's do this quickly. This is a euro dollar currency pair, went to a leg E, um, it's broken out from the bottom, it's exact reverse. At the bottom, it goes to the rectangle, takes that out once, goes to the upside, makes a peak D, and then starts another move that goes, this is E slash B in the daily chart, very weak um, technicals in the weekly chart. So in the overall spectrum, longer term dollar still looks very strong, shorter term dollars having a big problem. And we should see that reflected in at least a rally attempts and, and 
certain selective stocks in the gold area moving quite nicely, and that's what I'm expecting. Let's see, I haven't covered. Uh, TLT, very important. Bonds, oh, only up 21 cents, 143.22. And that just says to us the TNX. Remember, I spent some time last week with Earl looking at the yields, and the yields right now is 1.743. In the 10 year, it made a peak D, it's pulling back, but the MACD stochastic, everything's still very strong. And it's suggesting that even here in this big kind of cup formation in the uh, weekly chart, that peak that was made at one, at 1765, 1.765 yields on the 10 year TNX uh, back in the week of the 2nd of April. Uh, it looks to me like if that's taken out decisively going into the 1.81 area, ooh, 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 that monthly chart, which is already in leg C, is going to get even stronger. We've got to watch this very closely. Oh, my goodness. That's quick. All right. We'll get some 8.30 news reports. I hope somebody just gives me a yell and tells me what's going on. Um, and then I've got questions. Yes, I will look at applied materials, AMAT, and then I'll answer Warren's question about the average is going to be high in January if they keep are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the market's open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. I was bounce trap. Yeah, very funny. I got, I got a, a note in the tent about something that I had on my list today. I actually had it yesterday. I took it off. I had it again last night. I thought I'll do it. And then I thought, you know what? I just... I'm taking it off. I'll talk about it in a moment. So uh, in the den mentioned that the SQQQ, which is the three times... Uh, this is the short uh, ETF for the QQQs. Um, had a, what kind of a split did it have? It had a split, a split, a split. 
a five to one split, five reverse, five five to one reverse split. I know they always do that. We once had someone who worked from, for Goldman Sachs. Um, a very interesting story. He got, uh, he basically resigned. I don't know if he got fired. He, he resigned. He and his uh, friend uh, worked there. They were tra- the tra- traders or the rands. So, so uh, on the side they ran. They were supposed to run funds when they when the. The, the heads, head office found out that they were actually shorting the very stocks that Goldman Sachs were, t- were telling the uh, clients to buy. Um, and there was a big problem. But what what one what this person did, but the other person uh, that he worked with did uh, in much greater uh, force was they shorted both the long and the shorts of the ETFs three times uh, long and short ETFs because they get they shrink even if you're right. They, they really, for day trading, if you hold them longer, you really have to have a perfect entry point because uh, they keep getting uh, uh, reconfigured at the end of the day, uh, lower prices, that is. Um, so they, and you can, if you can just look, uh, here, look at the SQQ. This thing one, once was, I'm not even going to go back far enough, 45,000, right? 45,000, this is some, no, 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 let's keep going. It was once 220,000. That was, let's go to October, August of 2020, 2011. And it's trading right now. This is a post split, uh, inverse split, a reverse split uh, at 31.57. So it was in the five, six dollar area. So that's what happens to these things. Anyway, just thought that was interesting. That's number one. The other thing is that I, w- I wanted to do is look the TLT, and, and that is a problem. And you know, I t- I, you know, I'm speaking to people talking about inflation. We're we're seeing inflation. I mean, bacon. It doesn't matter what you say. People talk about inflation and the different things. I'm wondering how do these restaurants? What do they do? They can't keep raising prices. In, not incrementally. Incrementally, they can do that, but not. Um, um, Exponentially, you just go and do that. What you know, you're going to go in for uh, something that costs uh, nine ninety five or say eleven ninety five, but in the end of the day, the, the uh, restaurant owner has to charge at least thirteen or fifteen for that same thing. Uh, yeah, we're, we're seeing inflation all over the show. Anyway, let's get back to our story here. And we're looking at the TLT. This is not a great scene because it says this arch formation probably will take out the one forty support. Ooh. That's going to be an issue. We'll see what happens. Okay, so here we go. SMH is, SMH is the semiconductor index trading right now up 5, uh, 4.77 and 310.63. That's nice action getting closer and closer to the 318s. Remember we spoke about these double tops? How amazing it is that um, the price of the tradable that you're looking at manages to remember to go back to within pennies of the previous high. 22nd of November, the SMH goes to 318.82. Peak F. Plummets down to where? It goes to 288. That's a 30, it's a 10% correction. Rallies to 318.69 on the January the 3rd, was it? January the 4th. 69, that is... 13 cents away from testing that all-time high. R- goes to a lower low, and now it's running again. So that's important. Let's go a- Applied Materials, AMAT. Uh, we're just watching this, and, and Kevin you know, had the right idea. Every time the semis drop, it's really a good, great, just just buy them. Well, if if you did that, Kevin, at 145, you're looking at 150. 159 close yesterday. Now it's at 165. It's up 5.45. It's about to break. Oh, 165. 165? Oh, all time high. We're talking about the semiconductor index at an all time high. And that is quite amazing. It's extended leg GCSC in the monthly chart for applied materials. And what are we looking at? We're looking at um, AMD. Oh, oh, I didn't mention AM, AMAT, Applied Materials. Um, this is Japanese falling axe formation. If it breaks and closes sharply above this, it should test the left side high. Well, pre-market has already done that. That's 163.02. Now, I don't know what the news is. Anybody? Uh, here we go. There we go. Uh, Ruby always says, thank you, Ruby. U.S. initial jobless claims 230K versus 200K. This is a jobless claims 
230K versus 200K estimate U.S. initial jobless claims and continued claims for the current week. So this is still, I mean, this is still really good news. And it's amazing because um, all I can say is that that, that is, that, that's encouraging. Uh, TSM, TSM is a Taiwan Semiconductor, uh, 138.74 pre-market up 6.51. That's taking it to a new leg. That'll be new leg C in the daily chart, an extension of C in the weekly chart, in the, in the rectangle formation that held beautifully at the lower part. Now it's going to the upper part in this kind of oval cup or bowl formation testing the highs, and that takes it to leg C in the monthly chart. 142.20 was the high of 32.19.21. I would say that should be three. I'm gonna make that three. I don't believe there are 32 months in the year. So let's just get rid of the two over there. So that was March of 19, week of the 19th of March, 2021, 142.20. And here we are almost a year later, and it's about to retest the highs. So those semis are not giving up, and that's that, that actually is a positive thing for the market. What we're looking at here is um, coin indexes. So this is two, a few pe qu people have asked the same question. Let me see if I can just uh, phrase it from the way it's come across here. Um, hi, Basil. If you look at the monthly charts, all coin indices, including the NASDAQ, really haven't dropped much. That's what I was mentioning earlier on. Uh, the past month still agree in further testing of lower levels or maybe make new lows in monthly charts to make new peaks in charts question mark rates still low nowhere else to go mentality yep and another one uh, same thing is uh, all says basil and tiger youtube basil if the averages go to new highs this month does that show another up year for 2022 so we have to be careful because Within the context of the Chapman Wave methodology, it doesn't give you heights based on just the notation of the Chapman Wave. In other words, it says if you break above this level, you, you extend a leg. If you break below, you extend a leg down. But I do use Chapman Wave. Uh, look at this beautiful up channel. I've had two changes of it. This was the line and then it flattened out a little bit. So now the angle is, oh, I used to have, let me see if I can just step over here and get my protractor. I wish TradeStation had what uh, uh, um, Manny Pesavento shows. He's always got uh, the angle. I'm gonna use this now. The angle, oh, this is not the one I want to use, but it's, it's good enough. So we, we make it flat like that. And the angle we're looking at is a 28% angle. Is that right? I'd say uh, in the 25 to 28% angle that we've got in the weekly chart. And it's on the, the, the support level and it's going to up. I'll talk about this later in a moment because the monthly chart is still in leg B. It'll take us until like June before we can actually make a peak D. I'll be back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be 
currently paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Good afternoon, it's 8.42 a.m. Eastern Time. We'll be playing 17.42 a.m. The futures right now are 104 up in the uh, Dow. This is the first time for a little while now we've seen the Dow futures actually stronger than the S&P, which is only up eight, eight points. Um, so listen, so the question came in. Uh, so here's this beautiful up channel with the Chapman Wave inside track uh, propellant and repellent zones. Um, what we're looking at, it's just very, the nine period moving average is nicely above the 14 period moving average. It's really the, 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 I would say the daily chart that is showing some kind of weakness. And it went, I spoke about this yesterday, it went from a green to pink sell signal for a day and a half. And then yesterday went L, that's back to uh, long on the S&P, but the, uh, MACD is still weak. Stochastic is terrible at 49% on balance volume. Did make a V-shaped turnaround, but that's all it's done. So I suspect this is a bounce and that within a couple of days, we're going to start seeing it filter down. And then we'll see if you've got a, a peak A or a B uh, dreaded H pattern rolling over. We don't know yet. But so far, I have just to say, this is, this is pretty darn good action. All right. Now, what we're looking at is this up channel on the weekly chart, still very strong, no signal whatsoever in the, in the in the weekly chart based on the notation of the Chapman wave number one and based on the nine being so sharply above the 14 period moving average, which says that the S&P would probably have to go to uh, 45, uh, probably 40. Well, to, 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 for the weekly chart to go negative, that go pink with the nine period moving going under the 14, the black 14 period moving average. I, I, I don't see how it, it, it could do it without dropping below 45.82. So about 60 points from here before it goes pink. But what's really important is that in the Chevrolet methodology, let's just do this real quickly because we always have new people coming in and maybe they don't know what I'm talking about. So let me tell you what I'm talking about. That within the Chevrolet methodology, there's a pattern that we look for if we can identify the lowest low bar and March the 23rd, 2020 was the low bar. You count each successively higher peak, alphabetize A sequentially A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You cannot get an H. That seventh highest peak is where other things can, that, that you have to maybe change the notation. It could become a G slash C because it could be an instant restart, a whole bunch of things, but it's at that fourth highest peak that other things can happen. So when you get an upgrade of a buy signal to a buy mode through technical reasons, it means that the implication in the Chapman methodology is that you should get, it doesn't matter whether it's a one minute chart, a weekly chart or a monthly chart or a multi-decade chart, 
you should get at least four higher peaks to a D. That's your obligation in the Chapman Wave. From there, other things can happen. It can recycle, it could do a bunch of things, but it's to get you to that fourth highest peak. They use other Chapman Wave techniques. We have a made peak B. We can't do that until February, the last day of February, to confirm a peak B with no new uh, um, high bar throughout the whole of February, higher than January. Then it makes a peak B. So that means it, that's peak B. Then you get leg C, and that would take you the next month, that's February, March. Then peak C, April. Then leg D, May. Then a peak D, June. Uh, did I say that correctly? Leg D, then a peak D. So it takes you half, through halfway into the year. So when someone says, uh, 2022 close higher that's two separate things because if it's every other month now we make a new high we'll wrap it up by mid-year and they could say that we make an all-time high I'm not telling you what the price is because that's a different technique but it makes an all-time high and then it could plunge we could get the big one it could be it could be a 50% decline in five months I don't know. I'm just saying. So I can't tell you about the year close on 2022. But what I, what I do say is that there should be higher highs to come, number one. And number two is whatever the high is for peak B, you might only make nominal highs for leg C to peak D, peak C, and then peak D. Peak D could recycle and have a whole brand new bunch of moves to the upside. What I'm saying is the obligation is to get you to at least a D, then you use other techniques. We've done that for so many stocks, stocks we've had for over a year. We're still along the dollar from DXY, from 90.07, where did I just type that? From 90.07, back in 2018, April. Here it is at 94, but in the, in the interim, it's gone up to 102.99, then back down to 89.21. We've only taken one little bit off at 96. I don't want to spend time now. Maybe tomorrow in Technical Friday, I'll tell you one of the reasons why I want to keep holding the dollar. Uh, it's really an icon. It's like the Holly Davidson uh, around the world that represents American America. Uh, and that's the icon is the dollar. All right, enough of that. Now let's go back to the questions. So that's so. Yes, I do expect higher highs in 2022. I'm not saying we close the year at the high yet, but I am going to say higher highs, and I'm not even going to say what numbers just yet. We'll talk about that as as January progresses. Um, I'm getting a good sense of what I'm looking for, but I base it also on things like the IAI, the Broker Dealer Index, trading at 112. I don't think this is going to just wrap up. This is a peak C, so that's only got a leg D to go. The Dow is a leg, uh, leg E. But there's a chance that this could become a chap wave instant restart because within, within two bars, actually within two bars, not three, I usually say three, but within two bars, we had a new high after peak D. So I put the circle in. Ha, huh, can you believe that if we only pull back to 30, we, we don't take out the low, of, uh, I think it would be the low of this low right here. 33,613. Before we make higher highs, there, there could be an instant restart. That means this is E slash A, and we still have to get B, C, and D. I mean, I don't want to get carried away. I'm just saying to you, these are the parameters to watch. I close under 33,500, negates the Chapman Wave instant restart. Keep that in mind. That's all you need to know. Okay, now let's get back to our story here. I don't wrap, I don't want to wrap up the day without going through a couple of things. A question in the den. Uh, Gary want, uh, uh, Earl wants to know is, yep, we did that. Martin wants to know about applied materials. So applied materials, just to be for, for the old question, if, because it, uh, wow. Yeah, this is still A, B, F slash C. A new high, would I would call leg D in the daily chart. In the weekly chart, I'll call it an F slash C. 
um, in applied material. I'll do more work on it tomorrow. Let's see where it goes today. Let's see how it impacts the market. The semis moving higher today should help the Dow. I thought the Dow would be a little bit weak going to the 1.30 to 2 o'clock area and therefore we'd have some kind of a, a, a sort of a sluggish close. But that's not, not the thing. TSM says they will be spending $40 billion in CapEx. Thank you, Paula. Uh, Dave White, uh, great, great news. So this is the Taiwan Semiconductor is uh, looking very much like a light chair. These are great semiconductor companies. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'll be the reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. All right, so in, in the Tiger YouTube, there's a question here. Basil, DWAC starting to percolate, could be a screamer. Thoughts, they go live February the 12th, could be big momentum through that day, big league. You know, I, I haven't, I've only followed it as a stock that goes by on the ticker. I'm not sure about the whole, all the other other stuff. Is this uh, related to uh, Trump's um, uh, show that he's about to, uh, uh, a new company, a uh, news company? I'm not sure. But yeah, I, I had it yesterday. Um, Yep, I had it yesterday as a potential because I saw it was up about a point or two pre-market. And I, I know when it when it moves, it is just, as you say, a screamer. Uh, DWAC, what is it called? Digital World something, a digital world something. Um, and 
And then this morning, I had it on my list. In fact, for my subscribers, I had it on the list that says right here, uh, all, the, all the stocks that I said that are acting so well. I spoke about um, uh, Zim, Z-I-M. I I'd mentioned it previously, a shipping company, G-O-G-L, also much lower price uh, shipping. Uh, TGB Copper, Boz, uh, that's uh, the Mosaic Company. X U.S. Steel, MP, it is uh, in metals, um, BHP, PTRA, VI, VIAC, AR. I mentioned all of these in, my, in the headline in my first paragraph of my target my, of my um, opening call newsletter. Um, and, and I had WAC, w, DWAC, and then I thought, you know what, I just, it's already moving, it's a little too late. But yeah, I think this is a fly, but I do see it in leg D. So I'm holding off for now. If I do it, I'll do it only as a quick trade, and I'll say, take take the money if, if you're right. Um, I Remember, I, I have, uh, in the market, whether it's Philip Morris or what, whatever it is, you make your own decisions, your moral decisions, I don't care what it is. Treat it as a trade. Wow, that's the end of the show. I can't believe it. All right, folks, I'm going to say have a wonderful day. You've got, uh, oh, Tommy O'Brien's coming out. This is going to be the, the real market, people. Mine was just a show of 10 o'clock.